Hello, good morning children. Now we are going to see a very very important topic, exam point of view also. So the topic is linkage. So previously we have seen lot of uh, experiments done by Gregor Mendel and he has formulated the third law, law of independent assortment. What is law of independent assortment? Okay. So, law of independent assortment says though there are two uh, genes taken for experiments, both the genes, say for example, round yellow, two genes are present in the same chromosome, but during gamete formation, they tend to separate individually. That is why we are getting a recombination like this. Like this. Okay. So this law says during gamete formation, though they are present in the same chromosome, they tend to get separate. That is why the law is called law of independent assortment. Right. Now, uh, is this law is 100% applicable? No. When the experiment started uh, uh, in due course of time, the Batizan and Punat, the, he is the one who discovered the Punat square, which we draw like this now. And uh, this was formulated by him. And Batizan and Punat, they done some experiments and they got the result which is not matching with Mendel's result and which is not obeying the law of independent assass assortment. So, they use the terms coupling factor and repulsion factor. Coupling factor when parents are produced more and the recombination, the new combinations are produced less. So, this is not obeying the law of independence. But later, this was done again by Morgan. Morgan done experiment on Drosophila a fruit fly and he he has done the same experiment but he has not used the word coupling and repulsion he used the term linkage that's why it becomes familiar from that on we call it as linkage right now i am going to explain the arrangements of a genes in a chromosome there are two forms of arrangements one is called the cis arrangement trans arrangements these are chromosomes, okay. I am going to now show you two dominant genes A and B and its residue A and B and here we will go dominant gene A B and residue B and B. This is called the cis arrangement. What is cis arrangement? This is one chromosome. In one chromosome, if both the dominant genes are arranged in the same chromosome, or both the residue are present in the same chromosome, this arrangement is called cis arrangements. When both the dominant genes are present in the same chromosome, Based on this only the topic linkage is very important. So understand this is called the cis arrangements. What is trans arrangement? Trans means transfer. What is transfer? This B shifted here and this A shifted here. <coughs> you see capital A, capital B, small a, small b. Now you see here one of the dominant gene is in one chromosome and the other dominant gene is in the other chromosome and one of the recessive here and one of the recessive here. This type of arrangement is called trans arrangements and here both the dominants are present in the same chromosome. Now coming to the point, when Morgan did the experiments, he came out with this result when both the dominant genes are present in the same chromosomes they tend to go together. That means when both the genes are produced more in number, 
okay because they go together they don't get separate so mental's law of independent assignment is failed this is a exception this is what we are going to study under linkage so it's an exceptional case actually gamete formation this b should go separate a should go separate but they don't go because they are in the same chromosome so they like to go together when they like to go together the results are not the same what mental has produced so which we are going to see now clear so mental has done a two gene uh, independent assortment law that is an puna and uh, done research on that they made a coupling and repulsion factor and later it was called as a linkage a linkage is nothing but morgan explained like this when both the dominant genes are present in the same chromosome they tend to go together they don't get separate they don't obey the law of independent assortment this is called a linkage clear right now we'll go is a beautiful uh, experiment right now i am going to take uh, the uh, examples from the book okay morgan did the experiment on a drosophila that is yellow colored drosophila he has taken two genes yellow colored with red eye so red eye he used the term w ah yellow color uh, with white eye sorry white and can we have white color we have white color this is body this is eye so how will you call yellow color color white eye this is what the parent and its residue is the small letter we will take this is the residue this is brown color red eye brown color red eye now we have to make as as usual the cross right so what we got the gametes are formed and all these y double capital y capital w capital y capital w capital y capital w capital y. so all the genes are same type so i am taking only one we have to make four instead i am taking one here all are in this nature this is gamet now when the cross is made what do you got capital y small y capital w oh, small y now he has fixed the parents like this and he done an experiment actually if he done he does an experiment like mental what will be the result 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 but he has not got the result so he want to go for a test cross what is a test cross what is a test cross hybrid with the residue when the hybrids are crossed with the residue 
that is called the test cross. We have seen already. And what will be the result? The result will be always 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Instead of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. If you do test cross, if you get like this, then mental experiment is correct. But they did the test cross here. What happened, we will see. This is how the test cross is done. We will go out, we will from this. What is the test cross? The parent was fixed like hybrid parent with recessive. So what will be the gamut? What will be the gamut? This one with here, this with here, this with here. Four types of gametes are produced. Capital Y, capital W, capital Y, small w, then small y, capital W, small y, small w. So as I said, gamut. We have to make it like this. Here all gametes are only one type. They are like this. Okay. Now we make the crossing. This is F2 generation. Because F1 already we have seen. This is F2. Now cross with this. What you got? Capital Y. Small y. Capital W. Small w. Okay. Then cross with this, capital Y, small y, small w, small w. Now cross with the third one, small y, small y, capital W, small w. And cross with this, small y, small y, small w, small w. Now, which is the parent here? This is the parent, you see? This is the parent. And uh, what, what is the result of mental? But instead, he got a different result. He got more parents. Seven parents. One. One. So what combinations are more? Parental combinations are more. And the test cross ratio is also changed. That is why he said when parents are produced more and uh, first cis method what we have seen. When the chromosomes are present in the uh, genes, dominant genes are present in the same chromosomes, they tend to produce more. So by these experiments what is produced more? Parents are produced more and recombination. Or less. This is the this he call it as linkage. Okay. Now he did another experiment also. We will see that. So this is all clear. We have taken a hybrid. What is this? Yellow colored white eye with the brown eye, brown colored and red eye. This is what the experiment he done. Okay, I'll go to the next experiment.